Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Banjo Joe, in case you didn't know. I'm Danielle. This is Danielle <laughs> over here. <laughs> this is the Banjo Joe Show, and we're camping again. Yes. Down here on a really cool creek. Camping at home. Camping in the Shawnee National Forest, that's right. We got here just before sunset, and uh, we're gonna go for a little short bike ride and then have a fire. And then tomorrow, we're gonna probably bike ride again. Yeah. That's pretty much all we do now, so. We're in training. We're training for some bike packing adventures. So, but we're here in Southern Illinois in the Shawnee Forest, doing a little camping trip out here on this beautiful creek. Hey. Okay, we came to a creek crossing in the road where the bridge is out. Now I'm going. I don't ever remember there being a bridge there, but. The sign says bridge is out, it's kind of funny. And the creek is up, man, it is walk the crossing. You know, usually you can wade through or walk through the creek, but it is washed out bad, so we're coming over here. But Danielle just came over here and scoped it out. So I'm out here on the gravel bar, and it looks cold too. So we're gonna cross right here. It's like ice water. What do you think? An evening bike ride? Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty cold. Today or yesterday is the first day of spring, but it's still a little early to be wading in the creek. I was chilly. My feet are pretty numb. But you know, it's springtime around here, it's cold and it's hot, and it's cold and it's hot. Snake migration has already happened and they closed uh, Snake Road early this year. Snake Road's uh, nearby. Yeah, it is nearby. Maybe we should go over there. We'll probably go tomorrow. Anyway, we're back on the road. Yeah. Creek crossing, check. So nothing like a yeah, sunset bike ride. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, really. All right. Woo! Made it back. Cold. That is cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> We've, uh, brought some soup that I made last night. It's a potato sausage kale soup that we really like. It's one of Danielle's favorites. A lot of times if we're just going out for an overnighter, we'll just bring leftovers and heat it up. It makes camping easier. So we're just uh, sitting around by the fire and uh, heated up the soup. And this stuff's so good. You put Parmesan cheese and some red pepper in it. It's gonna be delicious. Good morning, good people. We're here at camp on this special creek. Looks like the Ozarks, and we're in Southern Illinois, but there's portions over here that are part of the Ozarks that have that same stone and clear creek, so it's really flowing today. And Danielle's doing the dishes from last night because it got cold. It was like 39 or something when we went to bed. Yeah, so, too cold to do the dishes. Too cold to do the dishes. Uh, so today, 
after getting them out. And that's a little tub that we store our stuff in. We get use it as a dish tub too. So heated up a little water. And uh, we're sitting around camp, getting ready to make some breakfast. But uh, how's the hub? <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> we're we're home. <laughs> we are home. Yeah, we just got just got <laughs> recognized. Somebody on a motorcycle said Banjo Joe, but it's my buddy William out cruising on his motorcycle on a beautiful day like today. Yeah. Man, we're gonna do a bike ride later too over here. Yeah. In the hills <laughs> on bicycles, but on bicycles. Yeah, but that's cool, man. Yeah. Haven't seen him in a while. Maybe he'll stop by. I'll flag him down when he comes back through. Maybe. Uh, it was cold last night though. Yeah, it was Danielle, cold. Danielle got chilly. She said she spent most of the night curled up in a ball. <laughs> Her feet I were cold. I was a little cold. And our, you know, our memory foam mattress gets hard when it's uh, well, cold, cold I out. Well, I let my butt get cold last night before I went to bed, and I don't think it ever warmed up. Yeah, see, I toasted mine on the heater <laughs> in the van before we went to bed, and that's the secret. You got to toast your buns, man. Try but to... It's warm this morning. Oh yeah, it warmed up quick. It's full sunshine. We're down in this valley, and that's a, a tip right there. Is you know, if you can't pyre up at night, it'll mm -hmm. be warmer. Definitely. Down here by the water, it gets cold. And it's nice camping by a creek too. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah, trade off. Sometimes it's worth it. Well, it's the first of spring. I think it's the second or third day of spring today. Yeah. So we, you know, it'll warm up. Okay, it's time for breakfast and I'm gonna make the cowboy. Uh, this is from a coffee shop down in Piedmont, Alabama along the Chief Ladaga Trail. We went there for breakfast and they had this special called the cowboy and it was a pita with uh, sausage and eggs and feta cheese in it and it had like a spicy mayo type sauce on it. Really delicious, we're gonna try to recreate that this morning. So the cowboy had a lot of pork sausage in it and I've got one here, I'm just gonna cut it up into like little half moons. I'm gonna fry these sausages up till they're brown and then I'm gonna set them aside and then make the eggs. Start it with a little butter. All right, so the sausages are getting browned up pretty good. So I'm just gonna put them in this pan to keep warm while I scramble the eggs. Okay, so my pan's hot, my eggs are scrambled. I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in the skillet and get them going. I'll put down a tablespoon of butter. Swish it around a little bit, get that pan coated. There we go. Now, pouring in a half a dozen scrambled eggs. Mm. I'm going to use the other burner to heat up t the uh, tortillas. All right, scrambling eggs here. That burner's on. This one. So I'm going to mix together a little bit of mayonnaise and a little bit of hot sauce, and I think that will make a good sauce for these cowboys. What do you think, Danielle? Yes. Now to heat up some tortillas. I think I'll put a bed of eggs because that'll be like a little nest for the sausage to sit in, you know? Yes. Because that's what we want. We want a little sausage and a nest. Now the sausages. Feta cheese. Okay, the sauce. Looking good. Okay, here it is, the cowboy. And when we had it, it was actually folded over in like a taco shape, but uh, we decided to do it this way. And we're just gonna use a knife and fork anyway because it's so messy, so. Here it is, the cowboy. Let's see how good they are.
break up here. It's hard getting up those hills. Danielle loved it. I love it. <laughs> she thought it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, but it was hard too. Yeah. All right. What a view up here. Yeah. And uh, well, we got the camera out. We should vlog. <laughs> talk, okay. talk, talk. I can't breathe. So, we are riding up some hills. We're in the Pine Hills. Yeah. Actually, it's called LaRue Pine Hills. LaRue Pine Hills. It's in the Shawnee National Forest, and uh, we're riding the main Pine Hills Road that goes across the bluffs. And it is awesome up here, man. Yeah. Views are uh, great and for Southern Illinois. You can see forever. Yeah, it's a huge wetland down there, so the yeah. sun is shining down. And yeah, you can see the water. The water is beautiful. It's called the Scatters down there. It's a big swamp, and then the Big Muddy River and the Mississippi just across this plain and the Missouri you can see from here too really amazing but, yeah uh, hilly it's called the pine hills and uh, that's because there's shortleaf pine here the only place in Illinois where they grow native to the Ozarks you know in the south so yeah uh, they're up here yeah they're right here on this bluff line mm -hmm. you can see them out there really cool so we're gonna keep riding it was fun, didn't it, Danielle? Yeah, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> she loves climbing the hills. <laughs> All right, so the road is flooded. We got down here and the big muddy has flooded the road. So snake road is just right over there, but we're not gonna go. We could probably walk along the bluff and carry our bikes over or wade or something, but uh, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna turn around and ride back. <laughs> well, we've got a heck of a hill to climb. It took us uh, a couple hours to go eight and a half miles down to here because it's so hilly and we're learning how to pedal in here, but Daniel's loving it. We're gonna turn around and climb the uh, hill again. Yep. Head back across the Pine Hills. We're gonna to try to find some water too. I'm pretty low on water, drinking water, and I don't really wanna filter this backwater swamp stuff, so hopefully there'll be a spring or a creek along here somewhere. All right, well, we found some fresh water flowing out of the hill over here. Uh, the springs were dry, <laughs> McCann Springs Trailhead. The valley right next to it. We figured there's a creek there, and here it is. So we're going to uh, filter some water. Look at that. That color. Yeah. The color of the sun right now. I mean, it's wild. Okay, we made it back to the van. We did it. <laughs> without our headlamps in the dark, and we don't mean to be doing this every episode, but we're, pu we're pushing it pretty close. But it amazes me that uh, we go out every week and put up a video of our adventures. It's been awesome. Mm -hmm. And we've done it for almost eight months now, uh, every week. Mm -hmm. An epic adventure. And uh, 
<laughs> so and no, we love it. Yeah, we love it. And uh, so really cool that uh, we can do that and make these videos. And we want to thank everybody for watching and, uh, you know, hanging out and, and sticking with us for eight months and watching all our adventures. And uh, there's, you know, nothing like it. And uh, we're having a lot of fun. And Danielle wanted to say something. Danielle? She didn't, no, she didn't I didn't have anything. anything to say, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and leave a comment because it really helps us out. Yeah, we like having reading the comments, and really we love being part of the YouTube community. It's so much fun. Uh, you know, we we started watching YouTube a few years back, and really got into it and watched you know hours and hours of YouTube, <laughs> and uh, wanted to make make our own channel because it's so cool that now most people can have all the camera equipment, you know, and make their own channel of anything they want you know and yeah put it on it's YouTube. hard but you can do it yeah. you know yeah yeah you have to become a film crew and learn all the <laughs> obstacles you know learn all the uh, electronics and uh, getting a computer and learning that and all that is hard but that's another video anyway <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a good time and riding the pine hills on our gravel bikes and uh, yeah now we're back to the van so thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next week Cue the banjo music. <laughs>